Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Chad with CD Shave, and thank you very much for joining me for today's product profiling. It is not a face or a head shave. We're going to profile a product that I had made especially for me to solve a little problem that I had. You see, I had a problem with blade storage. That's right, blade storage. I know there's a million different ways out there you can store it, but I just didn't find one that worked for me. So before we get into that, let's celebrate the holiday of the day. Today is National Chocolate Mint Day. That's right, I like chocolate mint just about anything, especially ice cream. So if you folks like that flavor and you're looking for a reason to have chocolate mint ice cream, do it today. Today is National Chocolate Mint Day. Okay, moving on to the product that we have. Well, see, this product that I have is was inspired by Aaron, actually, over at Frugal Shave, who created something to solve an issue with people who store their blades for DE in the razors themselves. Have a look. As you can see, it's a great way to store the blades in the razors and keep the razors upright with and keep track of how many shaves you have per blade. Now, there are a bunch of people out there who do not store their blades in their razors like me. So, what about those people? And we have solved that with this. This is the Blade Barn. Bit of a peek on that, and there we go. As you can see, it's got four slots. Four dice can go here to, to check the amount of times that you uh, have shaved on each blade. And I've got the blades here. Each bay has an iridium magnet on it, and right there, it just comes right off, and the blade goes right back on. It is angled slightly to keep the blade leaning against the back, but the magnet just helps to secure it in there. So. Without further ado, take a look at this. Manufactured, convenient, fast made in numbers, handcrafted, made to order, personal, the start of an heirloom, customized for your needs and detail oriented. This is exactly what I had in mind when I reached out to Greg Brocks right here in my home state of New Hampshire. I told him that I needed to store my partially used blades in between shaves and a way to keep track of the uses on each blade that I had in storage. That, coupled with a crude drawing from Microsoft Paint, was all Greg needed in order to spawn his artistic creativity to imagine what he calls the blade barn. This wooden structure has four blade bays, each with its own slot for dice to keep track of the number of uses. The iridium magnets help secure the blade to the angled bay, keeping them from being inadvertently knocked out. The wooden cover is accented with a brass colored knob to help keep the blades away from little fingers. The base is also equipped with rubber footings on each corner to keep it from sliding around on the bureau from which I store it. I found the blade barn to be fantastic. It's well built, perfect for my needs, and has a quality that machines just can't recreate. This is something I would be proud to pass on to my future wet shaving children. It goes to show you that no matter how smart our phones get, or what modern convenience may lurk around the corner, there will never be an artificial replacement for raw talent. Okay folks, we are back again. That was a profiling of the Blade Barn. I'm very, very happy with this. I've used this a little bit so far. Uh, I really like the way this keeps track of everything because I use different blades for different reasons. Uh, I use feather blades and Paul Silver blades on my head. Uh, I use a straight razor on my face, but if I am in a rush, sometimes I'll put the straight razor aside and I'll grab the DE and do my face with it, in which case I'll use a Paul Silver. The feathers are primarily reserved for my head and uh, I never really be, am able to keep track of it. There are other ways to keep track of your blades uh, that work well. For those of you that are just getting into wet shaving, is this something that's absolutely necessary? No, it is not. You can certainly get take a, the envelope from which the blade comes in, mark it with a, a, ray, um, I'm sorry, a Sharpie, you can put a dot on it with how many times you use it. Kevy shaves does it that way. This is more what I would consider a hobbyist tool. It's something that, or a um, uh, piece of equipment rather, it's something that, that works really, really well for us that are really, really into this hobby. If you're just getting into it and you're trying to keep costs down, you can simply mark it on the envelope. For me, it just didn't quite work out. I liked having my blades out. I always threw the envelope away and I was finding myself leaving blades here, there, and everywhere and I never remembered how many times I used them. But the dice, these little bays, works well for me. These are 23, uh, 25 millimeter slots. 
Um, this dice, I believe, is only 16. I had I have on order a 23 millimeter dice that I'm going to put in each uh, slot when I get it, and that'll help for me. So this type of thing works well for me. And if any of you are interested in something like this, let me know. I will see if I can reach out to my friend and see if there's something he can do. Uh, but again, I did have it custom made, so I just wanted to bring it on board and show everybody that you can have things custom made for you. If you don't see something out there that works for you, trust me, there are ways around it. You know, the um, Pinterest is a wonderful thing. Aaron from Frugal Shave uh, makes some great stuff himself. Uh, this particular item is what worked for me. I wanted this, something like this, and I sent it to somebody that I knew could do uh, some type of you know, wood crafting. And boom, there you go. This works awesome, and uh, I'm very happy with it. So, folks, that is the video. I know it's short this week, but I just wanted to profile this. We'll get into another product review next week. I am Chad with CD Shaven. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. But make sure you knock that bell. That way you get a notification every time we do a new video here at CD Shaven. If you haven't shaved today, please shave carefully and have a great shave. And we'll see you guys and girls in the next video.